Well, hello everybody. My name's Zach McCarty, work for Harcourts, and I'm just doing a short video on AI. What is AI? It's artificial intelligence. And it's something that's been a very big hot topic with a lot of people, not just in real estate, but in everybody else's jobs. They're a bit afraid that AI is gonna take their jobs. While yes, it's definitely going to do that, uh, there is gonna be a big, big benefit for certain jobs out there as well using AI. Now, what is AI? Well, the biggest one that most people probably know of now is ChatGTP. But if you're an Android person, you actually have AI already on your phone with Google Lens where it picks up you know, what the item is, if it's a translation of Japanese to English and so on and so on. So we've actually been using AI for quite some time. It's just now becoming a bit of more copywriting, I guess, is what the biggest thing is with ChatGTP. And the paid version, ChatGTP4, you can actually get it to invest money for you and build a marketing plan, which is really cool. So people are worried about it and I understand. One of the biggest things that the, I guess the travel industry is worried about is that you can go to ChatGTP and say, I wanna to go to Japan can you give me a seven day itinerary? Now it comes out with a very basic bit of information which is fantastic probably where you start with but here's the thing one of my favorite youtubers Tokyo Lens did a very interesting video where he asked ChatGTP to give him a full day's itinerary of going around Tokyo and going to uh, certain shrines but also to restaurants and so on. ChatGTP only has information from 2021 and uh, backwards, it doesn't have modern data. So what was really interesting is some of the restaurants he was told to go to no longer is, exist because of obviously COVID, shut them down, and that information wasn't updated. So ChatGTP and those AIs, they're a fantastic tool, but they are not producing the, the exact results we need at the moment. There is definitely some benefits to it, and I'll talk about it in a moment. Um, with travel agents, as I mentioned, I had friends worried about it. I showed them the plans that came through, and there's a lot to worry about. Uh, the big travel agencies are putting a lot of money into AI. So yes, there is some kind of sway that will be happening at some stage. Um, why is it not really a problem with real estate at the moment? Real estate is a bit more personal kind of sale thing. There's a lot more emotions kind of involved in it in the sales process than just uh, a computer and negotiating with, uh, with typing numbers in. The amount of times that I've been in people's lounge rooms and kitchen tables and I've had to consult them, but also just talk to them as a friend about what's actually happening at the stage through the process of the property and getting them to understand what the buyer's kind of emotions are as well when buying it, something a computer just cannot do yet. Not yet until we get computers put in our brain. Well, that will be a whole different story. Um, the other thing is local expert agents. Now, I will say there is a lot of agents that uh, have no idea about the local area, but ChatGTP, as I mentioned, is 2021 and below. It doesn't have all of that information that a local expert will really have. Information about the schools, the new bus timetables, the best places to eat, um, you know, childcare centres, and just the whole idea of what those neighbourhoods are, which is what buyers are going to be asking when they're at open homes, and just the general information of the area. You know, fantastic events that's happening, the weekly whiskey club that's happens in Seagate, those kind of things, ChatGTP cannot provide for you at the moment. The other part is negotiations, I think I mentioned at the start. Negotiations is again, it's a personal thing. It's not just putting in a number and then saying yes and no. It is about knowing what the wants and needs are of both sides of the actual transaction, so seller and the actual buyer. Sometimes negotiation isn't just about the number, it normally is, but it's about the kind of time frame, the terms, and basically how those sellers or buyers want to feel with it as well. So I don't see ChatGTP taking over real estate just yet, but I do believe that ChatGTP and kind of AI does a better job than some agents that are out there because they have no negotiation skills whatsoever. So very important when you're selecting an agent that that is one of the tools from it as well. I do believe that we're kind of in most industries, our time is limited, um, but I think that AI is going to be a product that's really just going to advance us. I use it daily for my daily task management. I use it for podcast editing. I use it for cleaning up images. Uh, I, I used it to write the script that you actually see below this video or on my newsletter, whichever one you've actually seen it, and it even signs it off as ChatGDP. So the are tools that it can be used. The data though is probably not up to speed. If you wanted to try and do a, you know, a suburb report for the area, it's not gonna work yet. So if you're trying to get recent sales, at the moment, it is not up to speed. So ChatGTP or AI, it's not taking over yet, but definitely watch that space. 
Give us a yell if you've got any questions at all. And obviously, if you want an agent that can negotiate and be emotional and actually talk about the area, then give us a call. See ya.